Yeah, hi guys and welcome to RG Handhelds. Um, this is another video um, of the AO Neo. Um, I've had it for a day now and it's basically just a video uh, showing the tips and tricks. Uh, well, basically after a full reinstall, what to do. Um, so I just want to show you, I've actually replaced the SSD drive. Uh, so I received the black um, the black version with the 512 gigabyte SSD. Um, I did not boot that up. I just uh, dismantled the device. Pretty easy enough to dismantle it. Um, just take the screws off. Be careful with uh, your static. Uh, use either static band or uh, disable the battery as a secondary procedure. Uh, and then just remove the SSD. Put in your new SSD. Um, and what you want to do, if you want to do a fresh install, you want to go ahead and download uh, Windows Media Creation Tool, um, which you can download quite easily. I'll link everything um, that I'm showing in the YouTube video, uh, so you know you guys know what to do. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, Everything will be there. So what you need to do firstly, uh, once you install Windows, I use this little device. Uh, it's basically a Type C. Um, it has a micro SD card in it. I use the 32 gig one in this case. Simply plugs in there. So once you fit the SSD in, put the back cover back on. Put that, plug that in. You can use a standard US, uh, USB to type C adapter as well. Um, plug this in and it will automatically boot uh, to the Windows installation. So you want to use uh, Windows Media Creation Tool, which you can download from Microsoft's website uh, quite easily. Uh, I can give you the link here. Uh, this is the actual link here. I say I will be linking everything uh, in the actual video as well. So after installation, it's going to ask you uh, a few things during setup. Nothing too major. Um, and once you've got everything up and running, you don't have, have to actually put a key in, a Windows key. Um, that's the good thing about it. It, it recognizes via your hardware. So I did not have to import a Windows key in again, just for those that are wanting to know. Um, so once you got Windows up and running, there's a few things you need to install. Firstly, get DirectX back on the system. Just update the latest version because a lot of old games require this. Um, I just put it on anyway. This is the link here. Um, and then uh, this one was taken from the Forks' video, um, which is very handy. It's called Joy X Off. It basically lets you use your analog sticks um, as a mouse during, uh, if you can see, I don't know if it'll work here. Yes, there you go. I'm using the mouse on here, which is very handy. Just go to the link. I'll post it again and go ahead and download and install the file. Uh, if any of the download files are in INF file, INF, um, I'm sure you guys know how to install that. It's just a simple right click on the INF file and install. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, next thing I installed uh, was again another recommendation from the forks. Uh, Visual C++ Redistribute. These are the latest ones. Release May 2021. I highly recommend download and just get all these installed. Um, links will be in the description once again. Um, so after that, what you want to do is get the main AO drivers from their website. So I'll link the download and basically 
all you need to do is download. You can right click and try translate the page to English there. Uh, and you're looking for one download here and it's going to be showing as here we go AIA Neo driver installation package after system reinstallation driver installation package not this one it's the one below this highlighted one uh, and you just go ahead and download that what you're going to get is a folder you're going to have to extract the WinRAR first and then you'll get a folder with a load of WinRAR files in there. You're going to have to extract them again and basically just install them all one at a time. Um, mostly by bat file. So you click on the bat, it will auto install. If there's a setup exe, just click the exe and it will install. And if there's an INF file, you're going to have to find the INF file and just right click and install. Uh, I recommend to install everything. Uh, that's what I did. Um, once you're done with that, you can move over, over to the next step. So the next step is, I mean, this is optional now. Uh, it's called a dissembler. So basically what this does is it will remove, it's a script that removes uh, a lot of bloatware from Windows 10. Um, this guy made this uh, simple script that actually does it all automatically. Just download the latest version here, uh, click on the file default and it will do the rest for you. Very simple. Uh, it will require a reboot uh, after, after the install. I highly recommend this, but again, guys, it's optional. You don't have to install it. It's entirely up to you. But if you're using your device and you want it clean, especially for gaming, I would highly recommend this. So that was uh, additional. Uh, next one is something I like to use a lot. Um, it's called the open show menu. You can download the latest version here. You just click on exe and what this is if you go to start menu um, you can see my start menu is like the old windows 7 you know the old classic style um, and you can actually right click here go to settings and it lets you change a lot of things um, with the system uh, different menus and stuff i highly recommend this again because the default one basically covers the whole screen and that's something I don't really like. Um, so I highly recommend this, uh, this download. Uh, open shell menu. Download link again will be uh, in the description of the video. Uh, again guys, optional, not a necessary uh, thing to have. Right, uh, the next thing I would recommend is uh, again recommendation from the forks uh, and it's called the um, keyboard replace OSK it's basically a replacement keyboard for the AIA Neo and how it works is I mean that is just brilliant compared to what was uh, what we had before uh, very easy to type with and you got the up, down, left, right. Uh, Forks has already done a video on how to use it. But uh, you can bring it up by pressing the button. Which is pretty cool. Um, and download links will be in the video. To download it, you simply, you got two type of themes as well. I think he's only just updated this version as well. Um, Lulek. Uh, 23 so he's only just updated it in the last like 10 12 hours so you'll have version 2.3 i think is the latest one uh, according to this so simply download it from releases and there you go you basically click the bat file uh, bat file will be on the desktop copy it where you want click on the bat file and it does all the work for you 
highly re recommended guys again uh, I would highly uh, recommend to uh, install this you can actually switch from the old keyboard to this one Forks covers it in his video so you know that's uh, essential I think right guys so we got the keyboard covered and after all that is done I think basically you're ready to go and you'll have more or less uh, a setup like this a very nice clean installation of windows you can see here i've got a two terabyte uh, ssd inside so what i did uh, as an extra was partition it to a 1.5 terabytes as my d drive and i gave c drive around about 300 gigabytes whatever was left over uh, which is plenty for windows installation files um, so that's pretty cool so again guys just to cover you get actually get this in the box as well which is pretty handy you get two of these uh, which you can plug in the type c and just put a, a standard usb stick in there with windows in installation if you don't want to do what i did here um, is basically a SD card adapter with a SD card in it. So I will just put this away now. Uh, it has my uh, Windows uh, on there. So if I ever want to reinstall, it's pretty simple. I've copied all the drivers into this support folder within Windows files. So, you know, they're always there when I need them. Um, that's pretty handy. Uh, another cool thing is I use this uh, Microsoft mouse. These are cheap and cheerful, just connected via USB. You can see it's pretty uh, pretty good to use as uh, rather than use the analog sticks if you need to work, you know, as a desktop type, um, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, that's it guys. That's basically all the uh, tips and recommendations I would suggest. Um, Obviously, when you're installing the uh, drivers, you'll have the AMD graphic drivers there. Uh, so make sure you update that. Uh, that's one thing to note. It will automatically tell you to update um, once you install the driver. And it will install the AMD uh, software, which you can see here. I'll just bring that up. This is it. And to update guys you just need to click here check for updates i've got the latest version of the uh, radeon software so we're all good there um i'm currently setting up some games now so i'll do a few more videos with games guys but i just want to show you these uh tips i've had the system for a day now uh just getting used to everything and setting everything up um that's basically it today guys so i hope you enjoyed the video uh oh oh yeah there is one more thing um you need to know is when you if you are having issues with the analog stick um i recommend to do windows updates uh it will update the uh xbox 360 controller joystick uh drivers um because some people had issues where it had a 2009 version uh, driver. But if you do the updates, guys, um, it will go to a 2019 uh, driver. Uh, and you'll have no issues with the pad, the analog sticks. That's just the last recommendation. Um, everything else should be good, guys. Um, I'll have more tips and stuff uh, for you, you know. Um, and some gameplay and emulator videos. Another cool thing with the keyboard is what Fork showed. You can select different keyboards here, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can move them around to wherever you want them. Uh, my personal favorite is this one because you have the up, down, left, right arrow keys, everything all within the frame. Uh, so that's all good. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, uh, really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, um, if you want to follow more videos soon, uh, thumbs up uh, and thanks for watching guys.